now my dear students welcome to teachers daily i am rajita sudhir here with you i hope you all are fine so today we are going to discuss about eighth question of exercise 8.1 so we have finished till question number 7 i hope you understood if you need any clarification please mention in the comment box so let's we can start with our question number 8 so this is the question if 3 cot a is equal to 4 check whether 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a or not so here they have given 3 cot a is equal to 4 so that means cot a is equal to 4 by 3 this you know that 2x is equal to 10 is means x is equal to 10 by 2 that is 5 same only 3 cot a is equal to 4 so cot a is equal to 4 by 3 so you know that cot and tan there is connection how cot a is the reciprocal of tan a so what we can write here so reciprocal of tan a so tan a is what reciprocal of cot a so we can write 1 divided by 4 by 3 that is 1 divided by 4 by 3 so 1 into 3 by 4 so answer is 3 by 4 because you can do directly you know that tan a is the reverse of cot a so cot tan a is equal to 3 by 4 so from this you can write tan a is equal to reverse of cot a that is 3 by 4 i already taught two tricks for solving introduction to trigonometry so now we are using socca tova so you know that tan means opposite to adjacent so here our reference angle is cot a so a is our reference angle so i am marking here so you know that according to this reference angle this is your opposite side and you know that adjacent means side which contain 90 degree and the reference angle so this is your adjacent so you, this one you know that hypotenuse so tan is equal to you know that tan side opposite to angle a divided by adjacent side so side opposite to angle a. so bc divided by ab so bc is equal to 3 and ab is equal to 4 so from this you can understand in this right angle triangle hypotenuse we have to find so how we can find so using pythagoras theorem we can find hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of base and height so that means what is base here bc square plus ab square so bc is 3 ab is 4 so 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 so hypotenuse is ac square is equal to 25 so ac is equal to square root of 25 that is 5 so you found the value for hypotenuse so now we can start to solve our question so you know that 3 cot a is equal to 4 so that means cot a is equal to 4 by 3 so here you have to find 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a you know that tan is the reverse of cot so that means 3 by 4 so then we are using our trick that is socca tova so socca tova what is tan here opposite to adjacent so we are marking the sides here so you know that opposite to reference angle is opposite side the side which contain reference angle and the 90 degree is called the adjacent side so after marking two sides we have to find hypotenuse so we can find hypotenuse by pythagoras theorem so what is the formula for hypotenuse so squares of sum of the squares of base and height so base is 3 and height is 4 so 3 square plus 4 square 3 square is equal to 3 into 3 9 and 4 square is equal to 4 into 4 16 so 9 plus 16 is equal to 25 so ac is square root of 25 that is 5 so now we completed our right angle triangle so now we can start our left hand side left hand side we need tan only so that we already know the value right hand side also you need cos and sin so that also we can find so what is cos a you know that cos is adjacent to hypotenuse so adjacent side is ab so cos is equal to adjacent to angle a by hypotenuse so what is adjacent side here ab 
and hypotenuse is AC. So, what is the value for AB? 4 and AC is 5. Now, we have to find sin. So, sin A is equal to what? Sin A is equal to opposite to hypotenuse. So, side opposite to angle A. So, side opposite to angle A is BC and hypotenuse is AC. So, what is BC here? 3 and AB is 5. So, let, so we can write here cos is equal to 4 by 5 and sin is equal to 3 by 5. So, we have found tan A is equal to 3 by 4, cos A is equal to 4 by 5 and sin A is equal to 3 by 5. So, now we can do our left hand side. So, 1 minus tan square A. So, 1 minus what is tan A here? 3 by 4 the whole square divided by 1 plus tan square A that is 3 by 4 the whole square. So, here 1 minus 3 by 4 the whole square divided by 1 plus 3 by 4 the whole square. So, this you know that 1 minus 3 square is equal to 9 and 4 square is 16 divided by 1 plus 3 square 9 and 4 square 16. So, here you, you know that you have to do LCM. So, here 1, so LCM is 16. So, 1 into 16 and here also 16. And here already the same denominator. So, we can multiply with 1. So, 16 minus 9. So, same here you have to do. So, 16 is the LCM. So, here 1 into 16. Here also 16. So, 16 plus 9. So, now we can continue here. So, you got 16 minus 9 divided by 16. Divided by 16 plus 9 divided by 16. So, you know that 16 minus 9 means 7 by 16 divided by 25 by 16. So, actually this we can write like this 6, 7 by 16 divided by 25 by 16. So, 7 by 16 into we can take the reciprocal. So, 16 by 25. So, 16 and 16 cancel. So, answer is 7 by 25. So, again I will say. So, 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a. So, tan we already found the value that is 3 by 4. So, now we are substituting the value in this equation. So, that is 1 minus 3 by 4 the whole square divided by 1 plus 3 by 4 the whole square. So, here you know that 3 square is equal to 9 and 4 square is equal to 16. So, after LCM we know you, you know that you will get 16 minus 9 divided by 16. The whole divided by 16 plus 9 by 16. So, 16 minus 9 is 7 divided by 16, 16 plus 9, 25 divided by 16. So, when we take the reciprocal, you will get 7 by 16 into 16 by 25. So, 16, 16 cancel. So, the answer is 7 by 25. So, I hope you understood how we can solve the left hand side. So, now we can check how we can solve right hand side. So, now we can solve right hand side. So, that is cos square a minus sin square a. So, what is cos here? 4 by 5 the whole square minus what is sign here 3 by 5 the whole square so 4 square is 16 by 25 minus 9 by 25 so here you can see the denominators are same means you can do the subtraction directly so 16 minus 9 is 7 and the denominator is same so you can write 25 itself so you know that now you can see lhs is equal to rhs So, look how this question we finish very fast using tricks. So, this way teacher said learn any of the tricks. It will be easy for you to solve all the trigonometric questions. I am ending today's session. If you need any clarification, please mention in the comment box. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe.